World Series starts on Friday night. Uh, this just in. It's the Astros and the Phillies. <laughs> and um, Jeff Passan, who we adore, um, he's one of my favorite guys uh, to talk baseball with. First team all hair. Uh, yeah, right. Um, from ESPN, he, he let it be known. He's been following Aaron Judge around. Uh, he says he, he, from the home run chase to the postseason exit, I followed Aaron Judge for a long profile at ESPN+. Plus. He linked it, and then he put this, he, he screen grabbed this grouping of paragraphs talking about, I'll just read it to you. He authored one of the most remarkable regular seasons in the history of a century and a half old game against the backdrop of rejecting the Yankees' seven-year, $213.5 million contract extension offered during spring training. You know, just think about it. Just do that math in a sport where the Yankees print money, printing money. And I know they're already on the hook for... John Carlos Stanton's monster contract, and it's, that's what, and, and Garrett Cole's monster 30. contract. Thirty point five a year. You got to be kidding me. Yeah. Paying now. Now that's going to have to be forty point five. Uh, otherwise, don't even don't even come I at him. Say the price has gone up. Right, and seven years <laughs> in seven years better go to the number ten. And I don't want to hear about Albert Pujols and what happened to him at the end of his contract. So what? I mean, Judge is older than you think. I know he's thirty. Yeah. But back to reading again. Um, even then, talk about the contract during spring training that he rejected. Even then, Judge revealed a glimpse of the self-assuredness that will have to carry him through this winter. He's a free agent. Ready? On that April day, when he rejected the offer, Yankees general manager Brian Cashman went public with details of the offer, peeving Judge. Very fancy word for saying Judge was pissed. Yeah, right. <laughs> Rizzo, Anthony Rizzo, with whom he has grown close in a short time, inquired about it soon thereafter. Judge's response still sticks with him today. Quote, you don't think I'm worth more? End quote. He's out. And then he went and hit 62 home runs. Now, I'm going to hang my hat on this. I'll hang my hat on this, that there's no greater stage, there's no greater um, organization to hold up for money, <laughs> okay? And uh, honestly, there there isn't one. And and let him go. Let him go on a free agent tour to Boston. Let him go to San Francisco, where everybody assumes he's dying yeah. to play because that's his childhood. Um, that's his childhood team, so on and so forth. Kids from California. I didn't talk about it on the show because there was so much other things going on. I didn't. Rem sometimes uh, I, I forget. I need to write things down and remember to talk about it. I believe when he hit a home run in in the playoffs, he went back to the dugout, lifted his jersey, and kissed the Yankee symbol. If I'm not mistaken, I saw that. Yeah, like, bye-bye. This is my last home run <laughs> for you guys. Okay. Rock Thanks rip. for everything. It was, a, it was the kiss of death. And you're trying, you're trying, you're trying, you're trying yeah. to stir it up, and I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'm sure Red Sox fans are loving <laughs> <laughs> what the Yankees just did, laid a complete egg in the ALCS <laughs> as if their season wasn't a complete and total disaster. And you're not disaster. sitting back as a Red Sox fan wondering about your future and whether the team is built properly and whether your generationally brilliant yeah. player and Rafael Devers might kiss you goodbye and if whether and Xander Bogarts yeah, yeah. And, 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 and you have a particular uh, unique perch uh, here in Los Angeles, California, where somebody who left them, I guess – and didn't yeah. want to take their money, yeah. resides and is generationally brilliant for fans here. That not, said, not great. That said, um, this is the backdrop for me for the World Series is I want it to be over because the Yanks aren't in it, and I just want to get to it now. Let's get to it now. Let's start now. And you remember when they were going to arbitration? You remember that because of the way that the offseason uh, didn't happen because of the lockout? that arbitration cases were happening during the season. You remember that? And right I came the on the air, yeah, and week. the Yankees and, 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 and Judge were slated to go to arbitration. I'm like, can we, um, can we just uh, come to terms without having to go before an, arbitra an arbiter and, and explain why he doesn't deserve as much as he wants? Yes, and they did. did. They did avoid arbitration, he thank goodness. getting a one-year $19 million this year. Right. 
You, you got to double it, and you oh, got to give him, and you got to give him the ten years. And I don't want to hear anything else out of it because, Ooh. other than that, this team is filled with people who cannot put the ball in play, who are completely susceptible to the strikeout, including Judge. Well, Judge had a Judge was dynamite this year in a way that we did not see. He was he he got out of his game in the playoffs. He did, yeah. Okay. He, he, he did morph into the rest of the team, whereas he was the outstanding outlier of a team that was striking out everywhere, and he had to save their bacon in August. Otherwise, they would have lost the division, too. It's kind of crazy how awesome you know? and obviously, you know, dynamite his season was. He hit 311, but he did strike out 175 times. Well, got to sign him. And also led the league in walks. End like, of what a, story. Crazy. End of story. You've got all these young fans who are all rise, wearing 99s. Okay. End of story. George M. Steinbrenner III, please come out uh, on Halloween night. Okay. Start clanking around. The ghost of Steinbrenner passed. Go visit your son, Hal, and hit him over the head with the chains and tell him, cut the crap. How dig into the pocket that paid for a billion dollars of a portion of AC Milan and give it to judge. So let's get Jeff passing on the show tomorrow. Best we can or Friday Oof. to help uh, preview. That's my, that's my world series preview. Let's do, <laughs> <laughs> Rich. do you have Fantastic. a pick? Do wow. Save our picks I don't know. I'll, I'll give me a couple of days. Give me a couple of days. I, I, it's, it's, it's tough to not choose the Astros, but I need to, I, I need to analyze that. things yeah, a little bit more. You know, analyze things a bit more. Okay. I am rooting for Bryce Harper. And I know yeah, you're. I, I know story. you're already. You're rooting for the uh, retention of the Yankee general manager and manager. Yeah. And, and the reports yeah. are yeah. that they're going to sign him. They're going to keep him. Let's, yeah. let's keep run it back. Yeah. Let's no, run it back. Not. Say we did. <laughs> let's run it back. I mean, okay. but who do we get? Not a great year for either of our teams.